Doxa Deo is the glory of God. A city vision. Impacting communities. A family on mission. Mobilizing city changes. A church, a school, a charity, a training institute. In many locations. A movement of city changers. Faith that reaches the lost. Love that heals the pain. Hope that restores what is broken. This is who we are. Doxinator's vision is to bring God's transforming presence to global cities. You're probably wondering how we got here. Well, let's find out. For nearly three decades, Doxinator has been impacting cities across the globe, and it all started in a local church in Pretoria, South Africa. We're on our way now to hear from Ellen and Liana, who were there at the very beginning. Hi everyone, this is Ellen and Liana Platt, and we have the privilege to be the father and mother of Doxodeo. In 1992, we, together with our family, Duncan and Amy, moved to Pretoria to a struggling church. But we had faith that the church could flourish. Yeah, and not just that the church could flourish, because two years into that journey, as the church was really just sensing the grace of God, God challenged our hearts to have faith for a city. In 1996, we launched our second campus, and it was also the birth of Doxa Deo. And of course, Doxa Deo, meaning the glory of God, the combination of these two words from Greek and Latin, because it was based on this conviction that the promise given to the prophet Habakkuk is true still for us today, documented in Habakkuk 2 verse 14, that the knowledge of the glory of the Lord will fill the earth as the waters cover the sea. We were inspired by Mark 6, where Jesus multiplied the fish and the bread. Jesus' disciples were concerned for the hungry crowd, but Jesus had compassion on them. And he said, you, give them something to eat. The disciples had to organize the people in groups of 50 and 100. And as they began to hand out the bread, the miracle started to take place in their hands. We believe that God calls us to have compassion on the people of our city. We organize people in groups, and we believe the miracle of the grace of God will happen through the hands of our people. And that is why we have one church in a city with various locations taking the church to the people. This means we can be big enough to make a difference, but small enough to remain a very personal ministry. We see beautiful creativity and synergy that makes this family something special. At first, our team functioned from one office, but when we grew to five campuses, we had to release ministry teams led by campus pastors to engage our cities in their various locations. These pastors would take responsibility to establish the city reaching vision in their geographical area. At that time, Ellen and the leadership were approached by some of our people. They challenged them to be more aware of some of the challenges in the city. So they embarked on this midnight drive to the inner city, where they thought they would be confronted with the sin of our city, but they were actually confronted with the deep pain in our city. So the calling became clear. How do we address the core issues at the heart of pain and brokenness? By moving from concern to compassion, Dr. Dea had to shift in their way of thinking about the church and realize that the church needed to be a missional community of believers, that the people were not just coming to the program, but people were the program. We can impact cities by engaging people in all spheres of society, church, education, social society, business, sports, arts, media, 
and civil society. We embarked beyond just church activity to start with a private school to engage education from a Christ-centered worldview. We also founded Pop-Up, a nonprofit organization to address the pain of people who have no jobs. In the same season, Metamorpho was established as a year for kids after school to discover their identity and calling in life. We even established an arts ministry called the Original Arts Company. The shift from church to include other entities expresses the essence of our vision and has exploded to many ministries and organizations that influences every sector of society. To our surprise, we experienced another big shift in the Doxedio story. At a global apostolic summit in Singapore, during a time of prophetic ministry, global leaders surrounded Ellen and prophesied over Doxedio that God was not just giving us one city, but 12. We then looked back to Mark 6, where we discovered that the miracle was exported with 12 baskets being left over. We sensed that God was challenging us to take what we have been blessed with in one city to 12 cities across the globe. One global church in many locations. During this pivotal moment in our history, we faced a deeply challenging experience. After enjoying years of positive cash flow, we suddenly found ourselves in a financial crisis. This not only required crisis management, but also prompted a season of deep reflection and introspection. There were moments during this season where we could have easily believed that it was the end of the line. And yet it's often in our toughest times that we experience the most growth. This held true for Doxodeo as well. This season became a time for us to refocus on the essence and the core of our message. The centrality of Christ and His finished work, this needed to permeate our thinking, our communication, and every facet of our ministry. The message of Jesus arrested our thinking. He became flesh and we saw His glory full of grace and truth. Jesus prayed before he died, they are not of this world as I am not of this world, but as you have sent me into the world, I now send them into the world. We realize that though we are not of the world, we need to be in the world. So that meant we had to shift our entire way of thinking about church. And we realized that the church had to become a missional community. It's not just that people were coming to a program, but the people were the program. And this started a whole process of rethinking the way we raise city changes. People who know God and love people and who impact their world. So in 2010, we're sensing the grace of God upon Doxodeo and uh, we feel challenged to engage in partnerships, finding synergy with other ministries or greater kingdom impact. And so to facilitate that, we create a platform for dialogue and discussion that we called the City Changes Platform. That exponentially over a few years started to develop in what we now call the City Changes Movement. We now have the privilege of engaging with church leaders, educational leaders, business leaders, and societal leaders of influence in over 32 nations where God is giving us grace to take what we learn in Doxodeo and translate it into practical application relevant to environments all over the world. In recent years, we experienced God challenging us to trust Him to enter a season of extreme acceleration of the mission. Over the five-year period, we planted 14 new campuses. We saw the establishment of the Stud Reformer in Germany, 
while London Food and Fuel Bank accelerated. Pop-Up established multiple centres across South Africa. Our first consulting company, CCI Professional, was birthed and Life Work Leadership, our training program for societal leadership, was launched and saw expansion into Namibia in Africa and Orlando, Fort Lauderdale, Miami and Jacksonville in the United States. CCEP, our City Changes Equipping Program, grew from three to seven learning centers. CCM took its first steps in Zambia. We took ownership of children's homes in Bloemfontein and Wilkeheuvel, and we saw the formation of the Doxadeo Marathon and Cycling Clubs. Our worship and arts movement, Revelation Enterprises, gained incredible momentum, and the first Doxadeo album in 15 years titled Complete was launched. We saw our income grow by 42% and our Sunday attendance grow by 23% in those five years. We celebrate His victory, His divine acceleration. We celebrate the multiplication of city changes and we celebrate cities with accelerated global impact. Our City Changes Conference in 2018 gathered our leaders from across the globe and served to stir missional intentionality in our people. It's a matter of the fact that Dr. Deo, as a missional community, establishes Christ's mission in the world. The church is central to God's mission, and therefore our primary reason for existing is to serve His mission on earth. What is this mission, you ask? We have summarized it as the following. Faith, love, and hope. Faith that reaches those who are spiritually lost, love that heals social pain, and hope that restores systemic brokenness. That is why Doxadeo is known as a family on mission. The year 2020 with a global pandemic rocked the world like never before. In spite of all the challenges, the Lord blessed us with incredible grace and wisdom. We experienced a radical reinvent and rethink to much of our engagement locally and also globally. A metamorphosis was taking place. And from Mark chapter two, we experienced the challenge not to put new wine in old wineskins, meaning structures had to change to accommodate the challenges that COVID and lockdown brought. A whole new intentionality developed in how we disciple missional individuals, how we build missional communities in our church and other entities, and also how we establish missional ecosystems in our cities. So a healthy rethink of how we equip city changers, how the church functions, and how we engage our city was the result. Since then, we are very intentional about effective discipleship and also how we take the mission to the people. We are so grateful that we are still experiencing unparalleled grace and favor over our ministry. The COVID pandemic brought a renewal that we celebrate today. We could never have imagined what God would do in and through this ministry and what He will still do. And each of you are a part of this story the story of Doxadeo, the glory of God. 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 The glory of God.